Hello everyone, welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name is Marina and today I'm going to be solving a problem for your PE transportation exam. So let's go ahead and get started. A six-lane undivided highway project has 12 feet per lane and a horizontal curve with a radius of 2,000 feet for center line alignment. The highway is on level terrain and has a design speed of 55 miles per hour. There is a building in the proximities of the project. The brake reaction time is 3 seconds and the deceleration rate is 13.5 feet per second squared. The minimum distance in feet that the highway can be constructed from the building to the center line of the inside lane of the curve based on site distance is most nearly. Okay, so we were given the radius from the center line alignment. Okay, so we know that the radius from the center line alignment is 2,000 feet. So let's say uh, this is the radius here. Okay, and uh, we were asked to calculate the, the minimum distance, okay, the minimum distance that the highway can be constructed from the building to the center line of the inside lane of the curve. Okay, so uh, we know that each lane has 12 feet, so let's make it a zoom. So let's say this is our center line, so we have one lane here, this is 12 feet, and then we have another lane of 12 feet, and then the center line of the inside lane, we technically have another lane here, this is also 12 feet, so the center line will be at 6 feet. So basically, the radius that we are looking is from here to the center, okay? so. We need to subtract from 2,000. We need to do some math here. So let's subtract 2,000 minus 12, minus 12, minus 6. And this is going to be the radius of the inside lane. So this is going to be uh, 1,970 feet. Uh, now we're going to be looking in our... Uh, Ashto Green Book. And we're going to look at page 3 5 for stop site distance. We're going to find that the stop site distance equals 1.47 times V, which is our design speed, times T, which is the brake reaction time, plus uh, 1.075 times V squared divided by A, which is the deceleration rate. So let's input these values. So we're going to have that our stop site distance is going to be 1.47 times our design speed, 55 miles per hour times our brake reaction time, 3 seconds, plus 1.075 times our design speed squared divided by 13.5. We're going to find that our stop site distance equals 483.43 feet. Um, now, we're going to look in our Ashto Green Book. On page 3-115. And this is going to give us the equation for horizontal side distance. So we're going to see that uh, our horizontal side offset is going to be equal our radius times 1 minus cos cosine of 28.65 times our side distance S divided by our radius. So let's go ahead and input these values. We're going to have the radius that we calculate for the inside lane. So 1,000 
970 times 1 minus cosine of 28.65 times our stop sign distance, which is uh, 483.43, divided by our radius, 1970. And we're going to see that our horizontal side offset is going to be 14.81 feet. This is approximately 15 feet. I want to mention that the equations utilized in the solutions are not available in our NCS reference handbook, so we need to reference Ashton Green Book. And I hope you learned a lot, and I see you next time.